What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. Um, today's video is going to be a little strange and different because it's it's more of a like, this promo is dead video. Um, Team of the Knockout stage has been released and all EA have given us so far is one SBC. Um, obviously the, the daily SBC, which we will complete here, but one SBC by the way of the very overpriced Delict, who is stupidly expensive for a card that isn't as good as his best card that is relatively well priced. Um, three pretty dead player objectives, uh, Henderson, Vass and Zhao Felix. But if you are interested in those players, that's perfect for you. I'm not going to tell you that you're not allowed to like those players. I personally think that at this stage in FIFA, they could have given us something way better. And then a promo team in packs. And the promo team in packs is... It's also a bit of whatever. We've kind of discussed it already in the Friday video. Um, the, part of the issue with... Oh, of course, there's... Hey, listen. Listen, guys. No, no SBCs. No fun content for you to use without spending FIFA points. But hey, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend FIFA points because it's, it's my job, right? I, <laughs> it's my job. But um, you can spend money which is cool um yeah the team the team itself is pretty dead not because of the players specifically like some of the players are really nice you know and if you hit one of the players some of the players you know if you hit messi ronaldo van dyke sterling you're going to be in dreamland if you hit mané sané or son you're going to be loving life uh if you hit Firmino, you'll probably enjoy it if you hit a bamiang uh because of the man of the match cards which aren't anything to do with this promo funnily enough but if you hit a bamiang man of the match um you're going to be uh obviously enjoying that it's a, it's a pretty decent card um but the players themselves they typically have play cards that are better than what they currently have via what ea have given us and so i was kind of expecting a lot of menu stuff to keep this promo active you know one one of the, my biggest concerns recently has been for team of the season and how i think that team of the season could be a massive letdown this year for the first year ever um quite simply because um it, it it's every promo so far is just a reskin boosted team there's nothing new there's nothing you know that it's been so easy to make coins this year that everyone already has such high end teams not everyone but you know hardcore players have such high end teams even even the level above casual players have like such high end teams the um the the the, the promo players like nobody cares about that tadic and of course, EA can't just not give a team at a knockout stage set of players. Like, that would be ludicrous. And he deserves to be in there. But it would have been awesome if there was something to do with or for these cards. For example, um, like objectives on rivals or champs, or mostly champs, I'd say, like theme-based. Just be like, hey, look, score. Not even, not even um, to force you into it. But literally something like score five goals in champs this week with a team of the knockout stage for a 50k pack. And now all of a sudden it's like, okay, now that Tadic, he's going to go into a team that I'm going to build. And that David Neres, he's going to go into a team that I'm going to build. But as EA have got it right now, this promo is just another, another set of players for people to hopefully pack, to sell, to buy the players that they want to buy. Because nobody really cares about the specific players themselves. And... I expected and, and hoped for a few SBCs of some description or another. Do we need a rating here? Chemistry 80, rare players 3, no. Um, yeah, I'd hoped for, you know, something or another, which would have... Um, have I got any special cards here? Yeah, Diallo, let's go, dude. Um, which would have allowed us to have a little bit of fun with upgrade packs. I don't even care about having, you know, a million things... In, in SBCs, J just give us some things. You know what I mean? Give us give us a couple of the things. Um, give us a couple of like league specific upgrade packs. You've got the Premier League, La Liga, the um, Jesus, the Italian league. Got a couple. It's mostly Premier League to be fair. All the Europa League players are Premier League. Um, and then out of the squad of what is that? Three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. You've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight Premier League players out of the 14. Now, obviously, a lot of Premier League teams made it into the quarters and semis. So you kind of expect a little bit heavy Premier League based. Um, but ultimately, it's, it's just a little bit like whatever, right? But yeah, it would have been nice to get some, some league upgrade packs or some of those fun packs that they did. You know, the 81 to 86 rated packs would have been a lot of fun. Um, it would have been fun to have, say, for example, the uh, some new two-player upgrade packs. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of him. Um, yeah, like so, so, some of those kind of packs would have been pretty fun. And, and it would have been just nice to have something to burn our dead cards into to grind towards. And sadly, EA have kind of left it a little bit meh to the point where people are just turning this game off. They don't even care to play for it. Like, you know what would have been awesome as well? What would have got me playing and what would have got me interested in this uh, this promo? It would have been awesome if EA had given us this team of the tournament knockout stage players as rewards in foot champs and even foot rivals. You know, d d d be creative with it. If you get rank one in foot rivals this week, you'll get a two-player team of the knockout stage pack that will contain two untradeable team of the knockout stage players. If you finish rank two, you will get a team of the knockout stage pack that will contain one team of the knockout stage untradeable player. And if you finish in rank three or four or five, you will get a team of the knockout stage player that will contain a chance at a team of the knockout stage, but a Champions League card. So it'll give you one of the blue cards with a chance of hitting one of the team of the knockout stage cards. Now, all of a sudden, I want to play FIFA. I so, all right, I want to go and get up to rank one. I want to go and get myself a pack that might contain a Cristiano Ronaldo or a Lionel Messi. But there's just been nothing. And, and it leaves me in a state of like, what do we do? What, what do we do on this game? Because I don't know. I don't know. There's there's no reason to play the game because the gameplay is as unbalanced as it's ever been. Um, can I complete Premier League Arsenal here? That yeah, there's you know, there's very little reason to play the game for multiple reasons. Um there there's so very other many problems with the game right now. Um let me pop him in there, pop him in there. Uh, so I'm going to do some League SBCs today. So t today for me was more about uh, I know I've, I pretty much know I've just complained about the game here for for the last 10 minutes. Um, but it, it, it actually wasn't about um, complaining about the game. It was more to, uh, I wanted to make this video. So first of all, I usually have a draft prepared so that if EA don't release anything at 6 p.m., I'll go and upload the draft instead, right? Today, I didn't do the draft because I expected one of the other four, the four player SBCs to come. There are four player SBCs coming. We've obviously had Delict. I expected the other one today because it's a seven day promo that is already, um, you know, three days in. And, oh, crap, didn't mean to do that. And, and we've had, like, you know, next to nothing um, by way of the actual promo cards. And so I really just expected to come in here, have a chat about the uh, 6 p.m. promo objective and, to, you know, assess its value, maybe complete it, maybe not, depending on who or what it was, and um, go from there, really. But because... It, EA didn't give us that. I was I was kind of like, man, there's not a lot left to do on this game for me right now other than playing a draft to upload it. And I thought, you know what I'm enjoying right now is League SBCs. So I thought, instead of that, we'll come on to the League SBCs and we'll just start doing a few League SBCs here and there. Now, what's really interesting is some of the League SBC teams have gone really expensive. Arsenal's not a very expensive one. Um, they're, they're not like super cheap, but they're, they're an affordable... Um, don't you love the market? They're, they're an affordable team, Arsenal, for... Is it a rare Electrum Players pack? It's, it's, it's a relatively decent pack. Now, I just want to check for chemistry because um, I don't know who I'm going to have to put in at cam there. But yeah, you get a premium gold players pack, so a 25k pack for relatively decent price. Um, and then he can go in there. Hector, the gold protector, can go in there. Um, that's going to be our rating done as well. So if I just go and get myself Aaron Ramsey... Um, oh, no, wait, for chemistry. Ooh chemistry we could be in a bit of trouble here i'm gonna have to go and get one of the um one of the center backs i'm gonna have to get koshelny or um mustafi and we'll go in there how much are they sometimes they're like mad cheap oh, i already have mavropanos he got subbed off today he was that bad arsenal was horrendous today as well i tweeted out um this might be the first day 
in many many years or the set sorry only the second day in many years in almost eight years that i didn't upload on the main channel and people's main response was why not just uh d do like a, a chat about arsenal i can't there's there's not enough words to describe how bad we are as a football club right now how shocking our defense is that is arsenal done though premium goal players pack Nothing out of us for here. I'm going to check all the Premier League clubs that I have. And if we have like some of them almost completed, we'll go through the Premier League today and do a few. And what I, what I wanted to do, and let me know if you guys would be interested to see this. I wanted to do a series, just a mini series, um, where I go and like buy every player for every team and calculate exactly how much it costs and then go and open up every pack um, and show how much I made, essentially. Right, Brighton, we can do... Uh, and, and show literally whether or not from purchasing, you know, no, no grinding, no crafting, no sitting here opening bronze packs to get uh, silver upgrades and silver upgrades to gold players. None of that. Literally just showing up, purchasing every single player that we can and then being like, all right, are we going to make profit this way? Because I, I don't necessarily think you will. I just thought it'd be a pretty fun experiment. So if you guys wanted to see a little something like that, uh, that'd be pretty awesome. So we need... We need a Brighton centre-back and then a Brighton anything. And we don't need the Irish centre-back. And these league SBCs have been really fun. Since I started like doing them a lot, it, it's, it is just a lot of fun. Uh, we already have Duffy. I don't need him. Probably should have bought him anyway. Could have made uh, 100 or so coins on him. Not that I need 100 or so coins. Let's take Dunk there. Dunk. And then we just need any other player. Um, and that will be okay. Now, if they do have a left mid, which I, I think they might. Oh, we can actually take uh, this guy right here. And he'll be good enough for Brighton to be done. And uh, yeah, so basically the, this promo for me, it's just been disappointing. But the, the, the problem is, is there's not a lot EA can do in this current game to actually have people be like, wow, that's awesome. There's just not a lot people can do. And the reason why there's not a lot, EA, sorry, not a lot what EA can do. And the reason why there's not a lot they can do is because they're, they're so pigeonholed because they only have rivals, champs, and drafts of, as game modes. Obviously, they have online singles, but we all know that's one of the worst game modes in the history of game modes. Um, obviously, they have that. Who's that? Giuliano. Ooh, Paulinho. Oh, no, Taliska. Wrong position for Paulinho. Um, yeah, so there's not a lot they can do. But what I want to ask you guys is, what do you want to see them do? What, what for, for team of the season, within the realms of possibility, within FIFA 19... No, you know, we're not talking about adding things for FIFA 20 or some fantasy things that we would like to see in the game. What, like, and, and I also want to say, we're not going to talk about servers and gameplay balancing because that's not coming, right? So what would you like to see? What would get you interested in this game? What would make you turn around and be like, oh, I really want to get back on FIFA so I can go and start playing the game because of A, B and C. So we need a Burnley left back, centre back, not me. Um, Burnley centre back, no golds. We got any silvers? Nope. Any left backs coming in here for Burnley as well? I bet that's going to be me, isn't it? Yep. Me coming in hot there. So yeah, what would you like to see? Because I don't know what I would like to see. Um, simply because I think we've seen it all from EA this year, and that's why I want them to change rewards for champs and rewards for rivals because that for me is what will get me really interested in playing the game again because I'm playing for something that I know I'm getting rather than for a chance of something that could be anything. You could finish gold one, get your two 100k packs, get no boards in either of them, get your red player picks, get shafted in those two, and then turn around and be like, okay, well, what was that for? That was, that was for a few players, maybe 30,000, 40,000 coins. If, however, the red player picks this week were your team of the knockout stage cards, ooh, you're going to be, oh. Even if you get the dead picks, even if you get PK and Loris, or Ziyech and Vertonghen, who can't go into your team. Let's say you finish gold one, and you get two red player picks, and it contains uh, Tadic and Vertonghen. So a 90 and an 86. They're unusable for you. You can't use them. You've already got better players in better positions. They're just not the greatest uh, players to use anyway. But you've now got a 90 and an 86 rated to go into an Icon SBC that's going to dramatically reduce the price for you. And for me... That would be pretty uh, pretty legit. That's a pretty good card to get. Um, that would be pretty legit. And, and changing rewards is what I think that they need to do to make this game more interesting for literally anyone. Because the way the reward structure is right now, 
team of the season is going to be the same as any promo. Every week, we're going to be getting a brand new um, set of players. Every week, there'll be some more dead weekly objectives. Maybe the card's half decent. Maybe it's not. We don't know. Um, every week, we're going to get into a position where... Oh, that's all right. Um, isn't Chelsea quite expensive? It's prime gold players pack. So I need two center mids and Pedro. Let me go and get those. Um, yeah, every, every week's just going to be another boosted squad. And whilst I, you know, I actually genuinely look forward to a team of the season. It, it's one of my favorite parts of the game uh, for a few reasons. Um, mostly because it's always the affordable part of the game where people can just get loads and loads of players that they love playing with. Uh, where's Loftus Cheek? What did I get? I got Van Ginkle. Um, yeah, they can get loads and loads of players that they love playing with for a relatively good price. You start seeing team variation, and that used to be the appeal to me for Team of the Season. But we've got so much team variation this year uh, because of how EA have run, you know, the other promos. And I'm not knocking some of those other promos. You know, Headliners was legit. FFS was legit. There's a few other cards here or there that are, like, relatively decent. But other than changing rewards, which is, for me, is an absolute necessity at this stage in the game... I don't know what they can do. One thing I would like to see them do, which would keep it interesting for me, is just update areas of the game. Why is Paizon the only player coming up here? Where is Pedro? Yeah, update area of the areas of the game um, that are really simple to update, that would just breathe a little bit of life for a little bit of time. So, for example, with Team of the Knockout stage, EA could have added an, a new uh, League SBC card into the league SBCs for certain players, right? So they could have added for the Premier League, they, they could have even done it just Champions League themed and they could have only updated the leagues that have Champions League players. Um, and then they could have done, you know, something along the lines of, so I'm going to have to go and get that Paizon card, um, something along the lines of putting a Champions League player from the Premier League in the league SBC section. And so now all of a sudden people have got a few players to grind toward. It's like, oh, damn, now I want to go and get that Champions League card. And I hope for team of the season, they update every single league and give a league team of the season card in every single league. Otherwise, they are missing a trick. If we don't get... Oh, are you kidding me? What is life right here? How have I not got chemistry on that? on. I'm not even going to like. I'm going to have to go and buy Olivier Giroud, and he's not going to be high enough rated. God damn it! Um, yeah. So that for me would be something that would be pretty good. Adding adding that in. Um, another thing. All right, we can take Ugbo. Um, another thing that would be nice again would be changing reward structures. Um, and then another thing that would be nice is just changing draft. And the way that they can change draft is as follows. And and again, th this for me, in my opinion, is things that are within the realms of possibility from EA rather than things that aren't, right? And I think, I think I'm going to struggle to get the goddamn chemistry here. There we go, the rating. Um, I think that they could change draft rewards so that, again, you can put player packs in or put update the new packs in. You know, how cool would it be if you won the draft and for winning the draft, you didn't get coins and you didn't get other packs, but you just got a team of the knockout stage pack. And that's it. So you could pack, you know, you could pack Kalas and actual Giroud probably would be who you get. Or you could pack Neres or Tadic. Or, that's actually pretty good. We've got Gundogan back. Or, you might pack Van Dijk. You know? And that would be awesome. And it's not going to be every reward, but a chance at it. I think that would be pretty uh, pretty good. And they just don't seem to be changing anything. And the other thing I'd love to see in draft is... Um, I would love to see all SBC cards in draft. Including all icons. Right now, they only have um, icon moments set two in draft. And then two other players from icon moments set one that's it right so that I, I don't know why they decided to do it like that you know I, don't, I, I wish i knew what incentivized ea at any stage uh in in the things that they do but i don't um so i need a left mid or a right mid from palace but um yeah it would be cool if you know you could go and get some of the players that you've never had a chance to use in the draft so put flashbacks in draft just put them in there. What difference does it make to anyone if they can use a flashback that's no longer in the game in the draft? And if they think that people won't do the SBCs because they can use the player in draft, only put the player in draft after the SBC is done. But I, I personally think that putting... Um, I personally think that putting uh, players in draft that are SBCs, I think it will encourage people to do the SBCs more 
Because it's like, imagine that Zlatan Ibrahimovic comes out and you're like, oh, 200k for an MLS card. No, thank you. And then you go ahead and get him in draft and he starts banging in goals for you. And you're like, I need him in my main team. Easy today, right now. And so you go and get him in your main team and boom, there you go. Uh, so for team of the season, I'm I'm just worried. I'm just worried a little bit that it's going to be another, uh, just another reskinned team. Another set of players that are just boosted to a decent rate but not to a rate where it blows people out of the water another set of like dead out sbcs and and you know weekly objectives and ultimately another promo week where or promo month or whatever where everyone's kind of left feeling a little deflated because there's not a lot to play for i hope i really really hope i'm wrong but ea have shown this year all of their cards already i think and one thing that I, th I know is within the realms of possibility within this game that I think would be just such an incredible addition to FIFA. They have all the Champions League licensing, right? We know that. And the, the Europa League licensing. Go and get us the Champions League game mode that was the same as the World Cup game mode. Go and get us that. Go and get us something. Literally, just release, re-release the World Cup game mode remove icons from it, but only have the teams from clubs that are in Champions League in there, upgrade them based on their Champions League performances or whatever, or just give them high ratings and maybe upgrade players um, based on how far their team went in, in the competition so far. So for some of those Champions League players, you know, they'll be quite low rated, but some of them, they'll be massively high rated and have a mode like that where we can play you know, the cha the Champions League mode and the Europa League mode or, or have, if, if you wanted a big enough market, it's all untradeable again, doesn't really matter. If you wanted a big enough market, have the Europa League and Champions League players all together all at once and just give us that add-on. Give us that game add-on. Now, all of a sudden, people have got something to grind for, to play for, to play towards. And for me, it would be a good break from the competitive, monotonous, foot champs and foot rivals and it would be a nice little just literally just a nice little break between now and the end of the game when FIFA 20 comes out when god I hope they change something and so I'll ask you guys uh, again just as we're going to get to the end of the video here because I know I've just been banging on for such a long time what would you guys like to see that is within the realms of possibility for EA to complete or, or for EA to add into the, you know, into the game. Because there's a lot of stuff that EA can't add into the game. Like, I would like to see a progression-based um, experience system for my players. And there's no way that we're getting that this year. And we're probably not getting that next year, knowing on what, you know, what EA have and haven't done over the years. But I would like to see that. So what is there in this game that you think you would like to see and that you think EA could put in... Um, versus what we currently have and what they haven't given us so uh we pop him down there and this would be the last thing that i do now so we've got good one what do i need from it no i'm not doing c c's, c's like too expensive right now let's check uh newcastle man united and stuff and so yeah i, I just I, not having uh, something to upload today was kind of like a little blessing because it allowed me to just chat to you guys about some stuff because i usually talk to people on my second channel or on stream about like the ins and outs of the games and on this channel it's more just about oh here's an sbc here's me doing it or not doing it and here's why and i never really get to give like just my my detailed opinion and feedback on how the game is and stuff and, and i think this year the game has been quite possibly the worst it's it's ever been in terms of balanced and fun gameplay in the sense that it has not been balanced nor fun um and i think that that's uh that's a big problem and a big issue am i gonna be able to fit three left backs in here i am oh that's brilliant um we need a striker from man united and a goalkeeper or a center mid and a goalkeeper from man united and we'll we'll be we'll be in there like swimwear on that one um or a right back and a goalkeeper from man united so who, who do they have for that, that center mid or that right back role I know they've got Romero in goal, but um, yeah, so basically, um, that, that's, my, that's my thoughts on the game. And I'm, I'm just a little bit bored. I'm a little bit perplexed with EA. Have they given up on the game this year? I don't know. Uh, are, are, you know, are they deciding that they'll foc they're focusing so heavily on next year's game? I don't know. Are they deciding that maybe um, we can take Ander Herrera here, can't we? Yeah. Maybe, uh, you know, the, the whole structure of the game is so ingrained wrongly this year that they couldn't even change it Look, changing anything changing one small thing 
might be a catalyst to breaking many other things. I know obviously that's something that they have to consider. So, you know, there, there is there is a lot to consider with this game. There is a lot to uh, to debate. Um, oh, he doesn't get the extra chem, does he? Because he's a goalkeeper there. Um, we can get it off of uh, Luke Shaw here. Um, yeah, so I don't know, man. I, I just, I wasn't going to upload today. And then I thought, let, let's go and talk about the promo and get your guys' feedback. And more importantly, get your understanding of what you would or wouldn't do for Team of the Season. And this is going to be the end of the video. Can we end it on a walkout from one of these packs? No, we can't. So there you go. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I look forward to getting the discussion from the comment section for you guys. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.